A lot of you have requested it, so let's see how we can make an impressionist sunrise like Monet. The portrait in the style of Monet we did about a year ago is hands down the most viewed video on this channel. And you guys are asking for more. I see a lot of comments asking to study landscape, so we will do just that today with a little exercise that is not only very simple, but will also give you all the basics on landscape composition, color harmony and depth of field. You are more and more to subscribe to my channel and to give me ideas on challenges in the comments. Continue like that, I love it. Subscribe, comment and share your art on social media with the hashtag MGFCPaint so I can see your masterpieces. And that is the case of Lanimari Paints who share this excellent dancing couple inspired by Toulouse-Lautrec and this fabulous portrait in the style of Van Gogh. Superb! Also, Suzil Peña adapted the Van Gogh technique to a wonderful landscape with what seems to be a precious little yellow pub in all its glory, the cat and custard. I love it. Continue like that, it is extremely comforting to see that my little videos can give you such great ideas. So, let's go back to Claude Monet. If you remember the previous video, I said that Monet was one of the first painters to use the advantages of newly invented paint tubes to go outside of the studio and paint landscape in the actual place. He was often doing so with his good friend Manet, and we can see several paintings of the same subject done by both of them. But the first landscape that really had critics talking about Impressionism, and not in a good way actually, was Impression Sunrise. And that will be the base for our little exercise today. It is a deceptively simple painting. I mean, there are only three or four colors, no real definite details or shadow. Hmm. But is it really that easy? What is behind this apparent simplicity? Well, in my opinion, it is actually one of the best studies for how complementary colors work together and how you can create depth between your different planes in the background. It appears to be a spontaneous sketch rather than a finalized piece and was most probably done by Monet during one of his walks, looking for suitable subject. Without further ado, let's dive into it. So let's start by giving our canvas a tint that evokes sunrise. I hear some people say that they tone their canvas, and that is exactly that. We want to give a warm tonality to the whole picture. So I chose a nice yellow ochre for this. You just cover roughly the whole canvas with a diluted paint and wipe up the excess. The sky will be divided into two major zones. The top corner is reflecting the red-orangey color of the sun, while the bottom is already showing the clear blue sky of the new day. For the colors, I therefore use Venetian red that I will stretch over the corner. Nothing pretty or precious about it, we are almost doing a dry brushing here. You can add if you want some stronger brush stroke that will figure some clouds, maybe mixing a bit of the yellow ochre from the start. For the bottom, I'm using cobalt blue mixed with white. And here also, I'm stretching the paint to the bottom while leaving a sliver of yellow ochre between the red and the blue.
our horizon line is more or less one third down and I can begin drawing the different planes of our background. Monet knew that the farther something is, the lighter it appears. Atmosphere or air is not completely transparent and therefore add a pale blue veil as it gets thicker between your eyes and the subject. And he also knew that since the sun is shining from the back, all these layers of background will be in the shadow, which means done in the complementary color of our orange sunrise, blue. So you can put as many layers as you want, starting with a very light blue and getting darker as we come closer. This is a time for impasto, so don't hesitate to lay it thick. Also, remember to draw the reflection of each of these layers in the sea with horizontal line, always in the same color you use to draw your original element. We see that mostly in Monet's painting of his ponds in his later paintings. The actual trees or flowers were done with vertical line, while their reflection in the water was done with horizontal line. It is a way to trick the mind into registering these as the water surface. Think in masses, uh, not in detailed representations of the building. The idea here is to simulate a foggy morning, not an accurate representation. If your edges are a bit blurry, well, so be it. continue like this until we arrive to some element in the foreground, maybe a boat or two. Here again, don't go into details. This exercise is more about composition and colors. We need a very dark blue here, so I will add a bit of our Venetian red to darken it. Place the boats and their crew spontaneously. Monet was capturing the moment, not every button on their shirts. Don't forget to add the reflections too.
Amazingly, this is something I have seen Bob Ross do and it works so well, I have now adopted it. When you want to make a circle, just dip the tip of your finger in the paint, Venetian red here, and circle slowly with almost no pressure. Feel the paint roll under your finger. You see the shape it takes on your canvas and can circle more in one direction or another to adjust the perfection of the circle. Now add the reflection of the sun we just made, horizontally of course, and complete with darker blue reflection where you think they are needed. The reflections are more and more clear as we get closer to the viewer, in our case the bottom of the canvas. At the end, you can add some white too, or yellow in the water reflection to suggest the surface of the water being shiny, and touch up a bit your background to add more detail, or actually more texture that will be perceived by the brain as detail. I suggest you work on a few of these, maybe even as a sketch to understand how all the elements interact in a more detailed picture. I did another one with some mountains, and you can also change everything you want in this composition. The sun can be high or low, left or right, we can depict a forest near a lake or skyscrapers in front of a river. Adjust your colors level to give more or less depth between your different planes. As usual, you are the master on your canvas, so have fun with it. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and I'll see you next time. Cheers!